Hi, this is Jay with Go Engineer. Today let's take a look at how to use the control key to enhance some performance and speed things up in SolidWorks. First off, I want to introduce you to Control plus Tab. If you have open documents and you press Control plus Tab, it presents you with the open documents window in SolidWorks. So as you can see, I can quickly see what's open. Now, if there's more than, than this many open, sometimes it truncates, but at this point I can see the five documents that I have open. So uh, that's Control plus Tab. Let's go back to this document right here. Oops, Control Tab, back to this document. Sorry, so as you can see, it's quick. Uh, here's a quick little trick uh, to create another sketch plane. To create a secondary sketch plane, sometimes we would go up and do reference geometry and create a plane. Uh, a lot of times we don't have to do that because it's easier to just press control and drag this plane out as far as we need. Then it, notice it highlights the offset distance here and we'll set it at 100 millimeters. And you can do that with any plane. You can do that with the front plane, your right planes, uh, any of these that you want. You can even control drag the planes that you created. So that's holding down control and dragging the plane. Let's delete this and take a look at how to use control to our advantage during sketching. Let's create a sketch on this front plane. I pressed my S key to bring up a shortcut there. If I click here and bring a line out, notice the yellow marker indicating that it's vertical or notice the yellow marker indicating it's horizontal. If I hold control down, I don't get any of the inferencing that says I want to be horizontal or vertical. Let's go ahead and draw this line vertical. I release the control key and drag out. As we drag, we get these points, uh, like right here. But if I hold the control key down and I move, then I don't get that. So imagine, typically a sketch would have a lot more lines in it than what you're seeing right here. So uh, this can be useful. So I'll let it up, click, and if I don't want to get this inferencing, hold it down and I can put this anywhere without actually accidentally snapping to a point. So if I was very close to a point but I wanted to just drop that there, I could hold control. So that's a nice little enhancement. That was using control for automatic inferencing. Let's take a look at some components. Control tab, go to this bolt. Say we want to put a chamfer on here. Well, we have a chamfer out there on the part that's a quarter millimeter chamfer. And say that works good for the bolt that we're designing here. We can actually hold control down, go over to our feature manager tree and drop that chamfer from the feature manager tree onto here. So the way that I did that is I held down control and dragged and dropped the chamfer from the feature manager tree onto that face. We could do the same thing right here. Let's take hold down control, drag that to that face, and now you'll notice we have a nice chamfer there. So that's another option, it's a quick way to do it. Um, keep in mind it does add a item to your feature manager tree each time you do that, but can be pretty useful and pretty quick. All right, now I've dragged these out here. I can press Control Q to rebuild the document, and I can also con press Control B to only rebuild what has been changed. So that was Control Q and Control B, another nice little quick rebuild feature. Let's go to an assembly. So we'll press Control Tab, go to our assembly. So here we have a block with a bolt in it. Notice that the bolts have the chamfers that I dragged. We can use the control key to create multiple uh, copies of parts. We don't have to always go to file open or file insert to bring bolts and stuff in. Um, there's a great capability here. Uh, we can do this from two different ways. Similar to the part, if I highlight over here, press control, I can drag a bolt in. That drops another instance of that. Now. The other cool thing about control is you can also grab the bolt, hold control, and create another instance directly in your graphics window. Now I'm not adding any mates to these, I'm just dragging and dropping. I'm showing that you can add these components quickly uh, without going out of the window. Let's take a look at another option here for using the control key. I'm going to press control tab and we'll go to a drawing. 
So here we have a drawing of that block. A lot of times when we create a drawing, we want to create another projected view uh, or auxiliary view. Um, sometimes you don't want them aligned. Uh, most of the time you would want to have some sort of alignment or reference, but in this case, I'm just going to show you if we created an auxiliary view or projected view, let's do the projected view. So we'll select this guy here and you'll notice this gray line right here. Uh, that's keeping the alignment. If I hold the control key down, that breaks the alignment. So I'm letting up, it locks it back into place, press it down, and I have a freedom to move this around to wherever I want. So I can put it here if I so choose. So that was using the control key to break an alignment. Now, here's kind of a unique uh, control option. If I want to add another instance of this arrow to point to these features, I'll zoom in on it. When I click on this arrow, notice it brings up this point right here. If I hold the control key down and I select, notice that I get another arrow. All right. And I can do that as many times as I want. So I select, hold control, and I get another instance of that arrow. So you may want to mess with that till it looks nice, but that's a that would be a way to call out some of the holes in your uh, components or if you had an instance on a part where you had a note. So the very last control option that I will talk about today is actually control W which closes the document. So I saved this document and I'm going to press control W. That closes that document. If I go to control tab, notice that it's not there anymore. All right. I can control W this document and it'll give me the option to save. Yes. So this has been Jay with Go Engineer. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you found these tips and trick help helpful. Uh, if you go to the Go Engineer website, there's the Ask Joe section where you can find all of our videos. And also we have a YouTube channel. Uh, it's the Go Engineer YouTube channel and you can go there for more great instructional videos. Thank you for watching. 